Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. This one is on what specs your computer should have and maybe more. We'll see. I get this question a lot. Can my PC run it? Well, Yuzu does have system requirements and the minimum of RAM is 8 gigabytes of RAM. This is the minimum for 2D games, okay? And the, the games I play are all 3D. So this is like minimum minimum. The Intel i3-6100 or a AMD Ryzen 1200 and the i3-6100 has a clock speed of 3.7 gigahertz, which is pretty fast. So I would say at least three and a half gigahertz boost speed. Now you can have Intel HD graphics, but again, this is for 2D games and 3D games will probably black screen. Now recommended, not minimum, for 3D games is a i5-8600K, which has a base clock speed of 3.6 gigahertz, again, three and a half is the minimum, to 4.3 gigahertz. Of course, you can overclock it, which makes it even better, but this is recommended. So uh, yeah, I'm still saying three and a half gigahertz for 3D games at least. Now for GPU, uh, they recommend a 1066 gigabytes, but this is recommended spec. Minimum spec, I would say a dedicated graphics card. So yeah, Nvidia is the best way. And the thing with AMD though, uh, Pokemon games don't like Vulkan and AMD likes Vulkan more than OpenGL. So yeah, if you have AMD, I'm sorry, but you can play, but the performance uh, yeah, will be uh, tough. Now talking about FPS, I have a video on how to boost your FPS with the new early access build. It will come to regular Yuzu in like a few months. So if you watch this like two months or three months later, maybe it's in the regular Yuzu. But uh, yeah, I made this video on uh, boosting FPS with the new multi-core function. Just go to that video if you're interested in boosting your FPS. Now I get a lot of questions, uh, which are literally frequently asked questions. Everything is explained here, how to use mods, etc. If you want to know anything, go there. Uh, the link is down in the description as well. But now I'm going to test out three gigahertz versus four gigahertz versus five gigahertz, maybe even lower, but it's going to be tough because I also am recording. So first I'm gonna set my CPU speed to three gigahertz, then I'll do the same for four and five, and I'll get back to you after I have the results of all the games and the side-by-side -side comparison. Now on the three gigahertz CPU speed, the minimum FPS was about 24 to 25, and on the four gigahertz speed, the lowest FPS was around 25, 26. 45 gigahertz, it was basically 27. Now the average FPS of the 3 gigahertz was 27, which is pretty good in my opinion. And the average of the 4 gigahertz was 29 to 30 FPS. And on the 5 gigahertz average, it was 30 FPS all the time. Now all the high FPS of the 3, 4 and 5 gigahertz are all 30 FPS because the game is capped at 30 FPS. Now what is interesting to see is the RAM usage because the quicker the CPU the less RAM it uses as well as the more GPU it is able to use with less CPU usage. Now for Animal Crossing it's a little different because Animal Crossing is more demanding because it's not running that well on Yuzu right now. So the lowest FPS for the 3 gigahertz one was about 20 to 21. The 4 gigahertz however had a minimum FPS of about 23 to 24 and the 5 gigahertz the lowest FPS was about 26 to 27. Now for the average FPS of the 3 gigahertz, it was about 24, 25 FPS. Although I've seen 22 FPS a lot too. Now the 4 gigahertz average is definitely 25 FPS. And for the 5 gigahertz one, it was kind of 30 FPS, but not at all times. So I put it as 29 FPS average. The max FPS is the same for all three again. Of course, gigahertz is not the only thing that will impact your performance. 
but at least now you kind of have a baseline of 3 gigahertz versus 4 versus 5. If you have any other videos that you want me to make, leave it in the comments down below. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on notifications. I do helping live streams if the tutorial goes too fast for you or whatever. So uh, yeah, join the Discord server as well for all the links. I keep them updated in there. But yeah, that is it for me. Peace out, guys. Peace.